Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Pip and we are normally going to play Seven Days to Die, but we're in for a little change today. Since our next series is going to be a mod overhaul, I thought it would be a good time to introduce you guys to the mod launcher. So first thing we got to do is find the mod launcher's uh, website. So it's 7d2dmodlauncher.org and you'll have three different options here Mac, Linux, and Windows. It'll give you an idea on the front page here of what the mod launcher is all about. But in brief, the mod launcher allows you to have multiple versions of Seven Days to Die with and without mods going at the same time. It saves them in separate directories so that you can have a game with, say, Darkness Falls going. And then if you want to switch over to a game that has War of the Walkers going, you can do that without having to mess with mods. The mod launcher will take care of that for you. So since I'm running on Windows, we are going to download the Windows version. And now that it's done, we will open it up. And all we need to do is launch it. So you can put it wherever you want. I just go with the defaults. And the install is pretty darn quick. Okay, so when you open the mod launcher, it's going to be this big blank window. You have options to install new mods, modlets, or, or take a look at the download manager. Let's first take a look at settings. Um, the default folder, that's where your mods are going to be downloaded and installed, and it will hold save files and your seven days to die worlds. Again, just go with the defaults. If you have settings that you normally pass to the game, you can enter them in there. Uh, if you get errors about Steam not running, you can run as administrator. You can enable or disable tooltips. If you're having trouble with downloads, you can check that box. And you can choose the size of your fonts. And of course, at the bottom, you can uninstall it, which we're not going to do right now. So in order to install a new mod, you click on install a new mod. And then it gives you the list of mods that are available. And these are currently going to be Alpha 21 mods because that's what I have installed on my computer. So let's go ahead and we will add the joke mod gives you a description of the joke mod once you select it and the update notes. And you can also go to the website, Discord, tw or Twitter, or of course what we're going to do, which is install. So now we have joke mod downloading and we'll have joke mod in our list of mods over here on the left. Now, when you install a mod, you want to select the game to copy to play this mod. Now, since I currently only have Alpha 21.1 installed on my system, that's really the only option. But if you have multiple versions, you can use multiple versions, assuming they're all in different folders. Okay, so to play the joke mod, we just click on play. But before we do that, I'm going to take a look at modlets. So modlets are mini mods. They're not overhauls. They're just things like quality of life mods and so forth. So when you click on install modlets, you can create a mod group. So we'll just do this as quality of life and confirm it. Refresh. So these are all the modlets that are available. Kane's Lockable Slots is a good quality of life modlet.
And Kane's zombie range adjustment is another good one. Um, let's go ahead and we will download lockable slots. And then we will install it. And then we'll take zombie range adjustment. Oh, it says this mod is already downloaded. So let's go ahead and install that version of the mod as well. So it downloaded all of the Kane mods. And close this up and you can see that uh, we have these two modlets installed under our quality of life listing. So if we want to play joke mod, we would click here. If we want to add these quality of life mods to a vanilla version of the game, then we just click play here. And this still leaves our vanilla game completely untouched because it's copying the files into a different directory. And that's about it for getting started with the Mod Launcher. There's lots of great tutorials out there that go further into depth than I've gone. And you can do much more with the Mod Launcher. And it's constantly being developed. There are updates quite frequently. So let me know if you use the Mod Launcher or if this is the first time you've ever seen it. And of course, give me a like or a subscription. We'll try and keep things going here. Next up is going to be the Joke Mod.